Four billion COVID shots have been given around the world and around 350 million of them were in the U.S. So what are we learning about the vaccines that's compared to natural infection immunity now that new variants of the coronavirus are circulating? Mike Ferris reports in tonight's Vax Facts. For weeks now, doctors have warned us this fourth surge is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. The vast majority of people sick in hospitals and losing their lives to the Delta variant has not gotten a COVID vaccine. They've also explained breakthrough cases, those times when vaccinated people test positive or rare, usually causing mild or no symptoms. So vaccines are doing their jobs. Those extremely rare, severe breakthrough cases are usually people with weakened immune systems, so they never responded as powerfully to the shot. It's usually 80 and 90 year olds, transplant or immunotherapy patients. So today we asked the Louisiana Department of Health, is one vaccine preventing breakthrough cases better than another in Louisiana? But their numbers don't paint a real picture. Why? Because the vaccine with the least number of breakthrough cases, Johnson & Johnson, went to people who were already low risk. But Pfizer went to the high risk elderly in nursing homes. So that throws the statistics off. But here's new science that shows a clear difference. We turn to a new NIH funded study out of NYU School of Medicine. It looks at antibody responses against the new variant circulating right now. It compares how well past natural infection, Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson vaccines do against all the variants. The study is not yet peer reviewed, but suggests the antibody response of first, the Pfizer vaccine, followed second by Moderna, are significantly higher in people than those who got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and people who have natural antibodies from the infection. This controlled study shows why people who had COVID in the past have less protection against the variants than vaccinated people. This is why doctors recommend a vaccine for them. For VaxFax, I'm Meg Farris. Health Department says if you are vaccinated, you're eight times less likely to contract the virus and 25 times less likely to go to the hospital or have a fatal case.